people tune in to Peace FM 104.3 early in the mornings just to hear him crack their ribs. He has some tales that he tells Kwame Sefakai every morning and people get really excited. I wonder where he gets them from. Maybe he gets to tell me now that he's joined me on the red carpet. Great to have you, sir. Uh, nice being here. So why did you find all those your tales? Like every time I listen and watch them, I'm like looking forward to asking you questions. It is actually one question I've always uh, struggled to answer. I attribute it to creativity, which is divine. Uh, it comes naturally. Um, there was nothing I effortlessly. I, I don't really put in much, so I can't explain. <laughs> That's it. But we can tell you for sure that you crack us up every time we listen to you. But was it Man of the Year communication or sports that you picked up? Which one? Uh, that's uh, PAV and uh, communicator, communicator of the year. Of the year. Which, how many years ago? Uh, no, this is my first time. This is the first okay, time. so you are now a nominee. Okay, yes. I, I thought you had, uh, maybe I'm, no, I'm seeing no, to the future already. No. You know, but what's your expectation for tonight? Do you think you're going home with that award? Uh, well, um, every nominee is a winner. At the end of the day, it will go to one person. But for being here, it's an honor and I'm happy to be here. That's the most important thing. We wish you the best tonight. Thank All the best. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, so that's Dan Kwekuyabwa coming through our red carpet uh, from the Despite Media Group. And he's been nominated for the PAV and SA Communicator of the Year. Will he pick it? Will he not? We get to find out when we go into the auditorium in few minutes from now.